All right, so you guys want to know where Tammy and I eat on a cold, rainy day? We go to the Thai restaurant because they have a Vietnamese soup at the Thai restaurant called Pho, P-H-O. You've probably seen it with the O accent. So we're doing a lazy man's pho today, in case you're looking to do a quick and dirty version, okay? And we're gonna be doing chicken and we're gonna be doing shrimp. So come on in close and I'll show you all I got. Okay, what I got here is just the basics. Feel free to swap out anything you want. If you don't like shrimp, use scallops. If you don't like chicken, use sliced beef, any meat, any vegetable, any seafood. But today's recipe is gonna be chicken and shrimp. We got cilantro, we got mint, jalapenos, garlic, onion, lime, basil, we have chicken stock, and we have noodles. And we also have hoisin sauce and red rooster sauce, and these are two of our favorite sauces to put in the soup. It makes it really dark and really beautiful, and it tastes so good. All right, you guys ready to make this? Let's do it. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is take your noodles and cook them according to the back of the box, okay? We're just gonna boil them in some water and pull them out and put them off to the side. Warm up a pot with a little bit of oil in it. As you can see, I salt and peppered my chicken. All right, now that it's seasoned, you can place it right in the pot. And you're gonna cook this on both sides to golden brown. About two to three minutes on each side. Just take it out and let it rest on a plate. And you're gonna take the ginger and drop that in. Take the garlic, drop that in. Go ahead and mix this around for about a minute. Go ahead and pour in your, your chicken stock. Add a little bit of hoisin sauce to it. It's mainly for color and a little bit of sweetness. If you notice, we didn't put in the red rooster sauce yet. That's gonna be done at the table as people like heat. Okay, and the next step is to dump the chicken in. We're gonna bring this to a boil. We'll drop our shrimp in, because shrimp cooks so fast and the shrimp we're using has already been pre-cooked. We just need to warm it. So that'll be the last, the last minute. Now that we got it boiling, we're going to bring it down to a simmer. You're gonna simmer for 10 minutes. In the last minute, we're gonna put in our shrimp, okay? All right, last step is to add the shrimp. We have one minute left to our simmering, so let's put the seafood in, because that'll warm up quickly. And be sure to stir it around. Yeah, I got the tails in. You can take the tails off if you want. But I know the restaurant that I get shrimp at, they leave the tails in. You got one minute left. So wait the one minute and then I'll meet you over by the bowl. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the table. You have your garnishings on a plate. The only thing we're missing on this plate that normal restaurants give you is bean sprouts. If you like bean sprouts. But this episode we're just doing without the bean sprouts. Take a little bit of your noodles. Drop them at the bottom of the bowl. Go to the stove. Tammy's putting some broth in the bowl right now. Make sure we got plenty of broth. Key is to put your leaves of mint or your basil leaves or whatever you choose, the cilantro leaves in right away. Okay, and just drop them in. If you want, don't want the stems, pull them off the stems. But you drop it in now while everything's hot. Put that in there and you get it when it's piping hot. So as you apply your cilantro, it can cook the leaves and get the flavor all inside. Uh, take a pinch of basil, a little basil seasoning, or if you have basil leaves, use whole leaves. All right. I'm going to put only one leaf of mint because I don't like mint that much. So I'm putting a, a leaf of mint. But I do like jalapeno, so I'm going to put two of those in my soup. And then I'm going to put some onions in there. There we go. And then I'm going to put a little lime juice. 
And then I take a little bit of red rooster sauce and I put it all through there. And then after you garnish it, mix it in so it can cook. Literally, when you go to the restaurant, it's piping hot. This is piping hot right now. So everything should cook just beautifully. So you have this spicy, dark, beautiful liquid. It's just gorgeous. And everything is getting soft and wonderful. All right, this is the way you eat your shrimp. You grab it by the tail, you blow it off, and just bite it off. And set that right there. Mmm, so good. Let's try this spicy brown broth. Mmm. Oh, it's hot. Hold on a minute. <coughs> but anyway, I'm going to go get some water because I'm burning up right now. This is so delicious. It's cold outside. It's perfect time for a bowl of fuck.